after menda honeymoon ni nini ilifanyika kwa honeymoon ukafeel i wish hata singeolewa na huyu mtu kwako <laughs> why <Wait. laughs> it's a tough question <laughs> Uh, making love for the first time <laughs> it was tough i remember i woke up and started praying and thought i had made a mistake and he looked at me and was wondering what is wrong with me the demand hey everyone good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you according to your time wherever you are receive our greetings kama kama my name is KJ mtoto wa Mungu or you can call me Luckman but today uh, kwenye set yangu vile unavyocheki uh, tuko wengi leo eh, tuko na wageni na pia kando na wageni tuko na Zedman so tuko collab ya KG TV na nani karibuni sana watu wangu Zedman TV hapa hivi ni kwa kupata show ndio tuweze kupatia uhondo tuweze kupatia mambo kuhusu familia na tuweze kujua mo vile tunazaishi pamoja with us here tuko na e, mchungaji na ningetaka pia ye aji introduce aweza kutuambieni nani a introduce bibi yake na tuweze kuendelea wow. greetings everyone in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior amen Uh, my name is Pastor Ken Wanyonyi. Uh, I'm a minister at Christ the King Community Church, Nairobi, Kenya. Sitting next to me is my beautiful wife. Wow. Makovi. <laughs> we, 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 we've been married for the for the last 21 years. 21. <laughs> This coming August we are celebrating our 21st anniversary. Wow. Yeah. We are blessed mm -hmm. with three sons. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of them just sat for KCSE mm -hmm. results were out today mm -hmm. and is done well. Wow. Thank you. Wow. My wife will tell you her name. Mm -hmm. She's of age. Mm. <laughs> hello, hello. Bwana uh, sifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina naitwa Leila Salama. I think my husband has said everything. <laughs> yeah, we have three boys and we are very proud of them. Yes. Uh, now uh, yes. nataka tujue. Yes. Kwa sababu tunaona wetu tumeingia mnaita na sweetheart. Kweli za kama si kweli. Right. Lakini kusema tu kweli, watu wamekaa kwa marriage 21 years. Wanaita nanga mama nani? <laughs> kweli si kweli Zedman. Wanaita nanga mama Wanaita. nani? Hey. Alafu tena namna navyokaa upendo ambao mko nao mm. inaonekana ni kama mko na miaka kama 10 ama 7 mm -hmm. what is the secret kutoka hapo wow mm. <laughs> like i said earlier yeah. we've been married for the last 21 years yeah. i met this beautiful woman hey. in the fellowship <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah we met in the fellowship uh -huh. you meet you just say hello hello mm -hmm. no one is interested in, in, in asking for anything mm -hmm. but the right time came mm -hmm. Because I wanted to make sure that this is true love. Yes. Remember there is love and there is lust. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure that this is not lust. Yes. You can ask her she's here. When we started dating, mm -hmm. there is no any time mm -hmm. I took her out mm -hmm. to take shortcuts. In other words I did not want to eat fruits mm -hmm. before they they are ready. Mm -hmm. I had to wait for the right time. For the, uh, the right day. And um, Before before that mm -hmm. I started seeing so many other women around. Hey. Mm -hmm. And then at some point I was confused. <laughs> Not knowing who to go for. Mm -hmm. And then I said no this is not a right thing to do mm -hmm. as a born again young man. Yes. I started fasting for 40 days. Hey. Those years I had a friend from DRC Congo mm -hmm. who was looking for a job. Mm -hmm. She didn't want just to take any job. She wanted to take a good job, well paying job. Yes. So she said I'll escort you as you fast for the first seven days. Yeah. I was praying for a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. She was praying for a good job. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> she escorted me for the first seven days, mm -hmm. but truly the Lord Almighty Father answered her prayers mm -hmm. and she got a job. Mm -hmm. 
I continued with my fast. I was surviving on drinks. I was taking tea. Mm -hmm. uh, I was taking some sodas and things like that. Mm -hmm. People are discouraging me that there's this function that is coming and the, we are going to have a lot of meat. Mm. What are you going to do? Mm. I said that is the test of my faith. Mm. I will not test those meats. Mm. And truly, I completed seven, I mean, 40 days yeah. to God be the glory. <inaudible> I was surviving on tea and, 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 and some drinks. Okay. Before, when I was just, I was left with like five days mm. to the, to 40 days. Yeah. I started now seeing some signs. Uh -huh. Your God, my father is answering <laughs> prayers. <laughs> These other women, <laughs> when you answer to Kutoka, <laughs> uh, we are college for seven years. I'm, yeah. I'm like, I, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for those seven years. Mungina me pata mungine. Wana toka to pole pole. Munga kawaja wi murembo. Na safari kanzia hapo. To engage for because ni kwa ni meomba kumbuka wakati unafanya mambo kwa kuomba mungu mm. na mbaka kwa kufunga yes. unapata baibu ya nasema kwa mba mambo mengina ya wese ya kafanyika hila kwa maombi na kwa kufu Kuto. kwa kufunga mm. to engage for seven day uh, seven months mm. within a very few months arusi mefika yeah. when we were talking to people about what contributed towards our wedding mm. watu walikuwa memuaika kama nini Pesa, pesa ilikuwa. Yeah. Kila mutu na muuliza kwa mba ntaka kuhua yeah. as idea kwa contributions. Mm -hmm. No one used to give an excuse. Kwa hawa mungu taara mefungua njia, mambo ya naenda zambamba. Na nakumbuka mwaka wa 201, mm. mwesi wa nane, mm. tare kumina nane, mm. ndiyo tulikuta, tulisema she said yes I do, and I said yes I do. Yeah. <laughs> Our first meeting, yeah. as far as marital affair is concerned yes. was that night huko nyuma zikuwa nime nime nilikuwa natamayo yote okay. that's why nilianza kusema kwamba there's love mm -hmm. and there's lust mm -hmm. lust has a, a limit mm -hmm. itafika mahali mtachoshana tu yeah, yeah. utaanza kuona ah kama ni tamato si nitafute mwingine yes. lakini because this is true love and that's why we have survived for all these years mm -hmm. and we are still it's still fresh mm -hmm. Muta akin pati opportunity ako wa tena, I will not hesitate to ask her again, hey. will you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> hey. uh, amen? Hey. Are we together? Yeah. Na ndiyo maa balo na itana sweetheart, mbaka mm -hmm. utoengine wetu uh, uh, kama huyu uh, last born, huwa mm. nasao pia na muita sweetheart. Because yo, because yo jina ime, imezorelewa sana. Na unajua toto, they are very good in, in, in imitating things. Yeah. Let her also say something. Yes. <laughs> Uli meet aje, makanto wako limit meet, ulijua haji ni right person, ulijua haji atakuwa good husband, ulijua haji atakuwa good father, yes. Uh, to limit kwa church vila amesema, yeah. lakini at that point, there was still an, another brother whom I liked. <laughs> but uh, I, we, we would fellowship, but he, I wouldn't really notice him a lot. Okay. And then, uh, somehow, we brother alikuwa ni kama Ana shuhuli sana. Yeah. Ile un, wendo unajikaza lakini yeye hayuko huko. Eh. Lakini yeye. Eh. Wako wako wengi. Wako wako. Eh. Unangangana tu lakini mtu anako brush off tu. Sasa there's a sister who had noticed uh, he liked me. Akanikuja okay. akaniambia wewe wacha kutupambao. <laughs> This brother really likes you. Why don't you give him a try? Yeah, yeah. And uh, my heart was a bit heavy, but in Kasama, ah, what an injury, blabda mungu apunda me, I'm a funko and she has hung. And I also prayed. Uh -huh. It's always good to pray before you make okay. such decisions. Uh -huh. Using a decision, you'll have to leave it, we'll live with them mm -hmm. throughout your whole life. Yes. So I prayed, and somehow. Kuna kitu ilianza ku develop. I started seeing, hey, this is the man I, I, I should be with. Yeah. I, we, yeah. we would have breakfast yeah. <laughs> before I go to work. Mm -hmm. And somehow I started liking him. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it developed, it became deep. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. um, there was a time when I, he went home. And then uh, there were rumors that he has engaged another sister. Yeah. I don't know, engaged or... <laughs> I felt <laughs> I felt so bad. <laughs> I couldn't wait for the weekend for him to come, but it was just rumors. Uh, someone someone had seen him with flowers okay. giving another sister uh -huh. and they are not 
actually, actually what she's saying what she's saying is not like i went home yeah. i was in arusha tanzania because mm-hmm. i had gone in a, in a mission mm-hmm. and that that's where i met this tanzanian woman mm-hmm. and she's saying you know we didn't use that uh, we didn't used to call it engagement yeah. we used to call it umefungua mm-hmm. majo you've seen someone else umeona vizuri hapa so nikaona hiyo mtanzania na tu yenyewe hiyo maua anasema ni ukweli maua ilikuwa hiyo haikuwa rumors aliambiwa ukweli lakini wakati hiyo mission iliisha huko Tanzania nikarudi Kenya na ikawa ngumu ku maintain hiyo relationship ya mbali na hiyo mtanzania for some reasons hapo siku nimeanza ku fast sasa kwa sababu hiyo fasting ilikuja baadaye nikaona hii confusion itaniua mm. kwa sababu kuna huyu mtanzania na kuna wengine hapa lo, 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 loko loko <laughs> sisters <laughs> so hiyo fasting ilikuja kuokolea kwamba niwe na msimamo wacha yeah. masweet hata endele umepisha mali kwa mama umepisha mali kwa so afterwards i found out uh, it was fake i think him is getting confused <laughs> okay though <laughs> the time you went home okay i love kuna sister mwenye kuna sister mwenye alikuwa na maua and it wasn't yours uliko meshikilia for another brother okay that one you are talking about Tanzania i knew about it but that the time i didn't have any feelings so afterwards when i saw it was it, it wasn't real mm-hmm. your story was too fake mm-hmm. That's when I re- I was really happy. I I thought kumbe Mungu ana and that ni jibu maombi yangu. Maombi yangu. So in um, 2001. Yes. January around March. He asked me to be his special friend the way he's saying about oh, okay. special friend. Special friend mm-hmm. and then we in mm-hmm. no in January and then in March mm-hmm. he engaged me. Mm-hmm. And then in uh, august we did a wedding uh, so it was very short you know so many people are time, eh, so you know so many people feel like they should be in a relationship for very long mm. years and think, years uh, but i'm thinking if you really love this person and you know it is from god yeah. there's no need to waste like so six much. months so six okay. months is okay because yeah. there's no time utasema ati utajua huyu mtu vizuri so the, months, you will know that person when you get into the house okay. people hide their characters yeah it's true wow. <laughs> when a feature unini so even if you try how <laughs> provided mkoko inje he will still hide the, the character so mtu anaweza hide character yake even, eh, even if you eh. date like 2 years 2 years 3 years, years bado ame feature eh. lakini ukiingia ndani ya nyumba ndio utajua unaweza kujua the eh. two colors unajua kuna sura ah ah that is nice yeah. so uh, at least tume uh, tume tume skia vile jana yao ya kupendana imekuwa mahali wali meet eh now uh, maybe watuguzie kidogo during their wedding day how they did preparations ilikuwa namna gani eh yeah. so sije <laughs> nani ata take over <laughs> eh yeah. vile unaweza vile uli engage friends vile ambapo nimesema our wedding took place in uh, in the month of august 8th to one it took place somewhere around kasarani kasarani there's a, a college called kise yeah. kenya institute of uh, special education uh ilifana it was very colorful people came i, I know there's a brother we still complaining at the moment <laughs> that alikuwa ame line up kupata hiyo pilau ambayo ilikuwa tamu sana <laughs> lakini akifikiwa ikawa imeisha <laughs> kwa sababu watu walikuwa wengi kweli watu walijitokeza so it was so colorful that night we went somewhere like i said that was the first time yeah. i touched her mm-hmm. and she's here to, to, to she confirm that uh-huh. that night uh-huh. it was fun it was awesome uh-huh. yes <laughs> the wedding was colorful mm-hmm. uh, i really enjoyed myself i know people are supposed to be shy but i was happy yeah. i couldn't contain myself I was just smiling throughout okay. wow. yes okay. ah, yeah. now another question after menda honeymoon nini nilifanyika kwa honeymoon ukafeel i wish hata singeolewa na huyu mtu kwako why me it's a tough question <laughs> uh, maybe being uh, making love for the first time 
it was tough. Okay. I remember I woke up and started praying and thought I had made a mistake. <laughs> and he looked at me and was wondering what is wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the tough part. That night I was a little bit confused <laughs> because uh, me I expected that we are going to uh, there's nothing like even prayers <laughs> because we've been praying and now this is our night. Yes. <laughs> let's just go. Let's just go to making love straight away without wasting time. So like she's saying now when she's in a corner kneeling and, and, and praying in my heart I'm like she's wasting time. I'm like what, 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 what time is she going to, to finish the prayer? But eventually everything, everything went well and uh, the following day we had to we were heading to Nakuru yeah. again we continued having fun. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Sweet. Wow. Nowadays, people are saying, what are prepare for wedding, not for marriage? Yes. You understand? Marriage is not going to be a But since wedding, we are going prepare wedding. Mm -hmm. Because wedding is, is like for six, six, six hours, isn't it? Yes. Since we are prepare wedding, not marriage. Is it true? Ma? Uh, it's true. Most people are getting over extrava extravagant. And their spendings. Na pata metu miya pesa nyingi sana. Alafu wakifika kwa nyumba she does stands up. Eh, kwa vile sasa uta utafika kwa nyumba na pata ume umechukua loans loans maybe to cater for everything that yeah. is needed. As a pondo she does stands. Eh, because money is also a very big issue in marriage. Eh, ukienda sasa mko broke. Life in Mianza too, Quelly, and in Melisha to Kuku. Because me, I remember at a garris and yet to live to live to look on other weddings, the Lucas are friends. When you are Luca Mejitolet to me to fuel. Food was simple, it wasn't extravagant. The gown, I think I had a, I had a gown for 3,000 shillings. Yeah, the rings were not very expensive, although we don't have them now. <laughs> Mine, I cut it. Yake, kidole liumi e kabidi. Agani, yangu yangu na ni meito atu juicy juicy juk. I've grown fat. I've grown fat. Ilikuwa na nifinya. Yeah, so mi yangu eh, ningeta kuuliza so, eh, tumeongea about mambo ya extravagance eh, yeah. in marriage. Yeah. Alafu kuna the way tunasema like you prepare for wedding. Yeah. Unapata mtu anatumia millions of money, limousines and yeah. those expensive things eh. Unapata watu wameingia kwa marriage lakini maybe one two months down the line unapata watu watu walisha separate. Yeah. In eh, maybe tungesema shida hasa ni nini? Mm. Pastor uh, according to my observation, mm -hmm. there's what we call showing off. Mm -hmm. Showing off because so and so did this and that, so you want to be like so and so. Mm -hmm. I would like to say people should be themselves. Mm -hmm. Run your race. Mm -hmm. Don't just do a very expensive wedding because so and so did it. Mm -hmm. Now, like my wife said earlier, I could like to buy a kamakua brok. In the house, we kumbuka mudi o mewana ata watoto wa chance kuingia. Lakini mwanza kwa mbroko. Na there's that issue of now starting pointing fingers. When do we find any kanuno a expensive gown? When do we find any kaha a expensive car because you wanted to, you wanted to show off to our friends? Famba si ubiat na juesa. So when these things start pointing fingers, I've seen a friend. Amba aliwana na wakasi separate in the first one month because we met me a person yingi na wal. She did answer to call your pesa. Actually, that is the, the one that I was talking about. Because. Yeah, in a year. Yeah. Apart from two months, two months down the line, was shall Yes, you will find it. It's a true story because the wife is a mega an assumption. My husband has money because they were contributing money from friends. And so the assumption, kwamba, akuna ile openness, your transparency, kwamba, your pesa me packing happy. So, ikawa, walanza kusosana from that. Eventually, they started fighting. Yeah. Ile serious fighting ilo unahiti una mwensako ngumi. Yeah. And uh, on that I would like to want to say you, a man is not supposed to lay his hand on a woman mm -hmm. if it's not in a romantic manner. Yeah. And so they oh, fought oh, baka baka so baka so baka 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 separate. Oh, yeah. Na wali separate na ikaisha hivo. Yeah. So I would like want to say people should live within their means. Mm -hmm. Shida kupe tanzia kwa pesa. Oh. Yes. Sasa, eh, sasa eh, tuseme tumeingia kwa hiyo point sasa tumeshaanza marriage mm. 
na tumepata watu wengi sana saa hizi wana wana separate eh? not, not necessarily at watu wenye wamefanya wedding mm-hmm. even watu wenye wame sema ni come with stay eh? watu wanakuja wanaka pamoja then uh, from there unapata relationship imekuwa eh, imekuwa too much bad eh? in such a way that watu mpaka wana fight wana uana mm-hmm. so tuseme hiyo shida maybe pastor anaweza tuelezea ni nini ina, ina contribute to such things mm-hmm. mpaka watu wanafika mahali unapata wana uana mm-hmm. kuna wakati hapo katikati nilisema kwamba love never fails yes. and i quoted from the book of uh, first corinthians chapter 13 yes. verse 8 yes. When you see it failing then from day one, yeah. it was ne- it wasn't love uh-huh. it was lust okay. so people of this generation must learn to differentiate mm. between love yeah. and lust mm-hmm. lust you are to fulfill your fleshly desires yes. you run away mm-hmm. here number one, why, why, why people are fighting in their marriages even in the early marriages mm. number two, If you end up in there because of lust, yes. when you go out there, mm-hmm. you start now seeing other people and you think they are sweeter than mm-hmm. the one who is in the house. Yeah. So when you start now giving in to those temptations, mm-hmm. sooner or later, yeah. it will catch up with you. Okay. Number three, who is the initiator or who, is the, who, who, who brought in the issue of marriage? Mm-hmm. It's the creator of the universe himself. So anytime we do it wrong, mm-hmm. believe me or not, everything will go wrong if we do it without consulting him yes. then nothing will work for us mm-hmm. that's why you see people now fighting mm-hmm. you see issues will come yes. in any marriage mm-hmm. and that's what the bible says in the book of james chapter 3 verse 13 up to around 17 mm-hmm. that who is wise among you yes. and this one now let me talk about it. the local mother father is talking about a husband and a, and a wife who is wise among you maybe you are having a conflict yes. who is wise among you let him or let her show their wisdom in the way they behave yes. in humility in patience in tolerance yeah. among other things yeah. but if you have a bitterness yes. anger to the point of where you want now start pointing fingers to the point of fighting yes. then none of us is wise because the bible is talking saying these things because when we are in that marriage yeah. remember we are two sinful things two yes. sinful things so no one should say that i'm wrong and he's right yes. or he's wrong and i'm right mm-hmm. when we start now pointing fingers and we're not getting a solution mm-hmm. it's contributing to us a lot of manama ataanza kuwa kichwa ngumu i am the head of the family yes na wanawake wengine wataanza kuwa pia i have the right mm-hmm. to also no, when, when that conflict come in yeah. people are not born again no people who are born again they have some self control because yes. uh, being having self control is one of the fruit yes. of the holy spirit mm-hmm. so kiwana muta ameamua kurusha ngumi mm-hmm. harushangi atantaa kuua mara nyingi mm-hmm. lakini alirusha na ikapata mwenzake mahali mbaya mm-hmm. na ukapata ati muta liua mke wake maliua husband wake mm-hmm. so those things are happening because of number one, mm-hmm. if we start it wrong yes. then it will end wrong yes. ah sasa nataka kujua kwa sababu kuna ile kesi ya ile scenario ya juzi mm-hmm. ya ule ule dada yetu ule ni mugana i think ni mugana aliuliwa na husband wake Nigeria is it Nigeria na mugana Nigeria ne mm-hmm. Nigeria aliuliwa na husband wake ah uh, unajua mimi nitakujua umemwekelea kofi oh mimi <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remember somewhere few years ago I said yeah. a man yeah. is not allowed to lay his hand on a woman yeah. unless it's a romantic way. way of laying that hand on her. Yeah. So that confirms that I've never shai msukuma ama ama hata hata acha hata kumtukana hata kumpoint na kidole moja hivi utaniona no no way for the last 21 years and we are going far Wenda ya amewahi niweka kofi wacha confirm. Wacha confirm. Wacha confirm. Umaimutandika. 
I remember when we were young in marriage, yeah. kuna something you can do and you, you, you find like, not beating, but yeah. you can see his face is really angry. Yeah. And he walks away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so as in as 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 his as anger, he's going to go. Because he's going to go. But even when he's going to go, he's going to go. He's going to go. He's going to go. He's going to go. But as age, he's going to go. He's going to go. He's going to go. He's going to go. Kama ile when you are still young and you are still learning someone, yeah. you are prone to make so many mistakes. Okay. Unafanya vitu zenye zina muudhi, unashindua. Eh, mm-hmm. kweli ya mekasirika. Now, unajua, eh, wanaume wana piga, wana gonga ya bibi, kuwacha apa, na jantumia yo, luga. Sasa mi na shindua. Njia sasa mfike, wanaume ana, ana piga bibi, na bibi ya menyamaza, mpaka anauliwa. Ni nini inafanya sasa mpaka imekuwa hivyo sasa ni kama secret mm. they don't talk unadhani nini inafikisha sasa ndi watu wawane Yesu alikuwa amesema some things pale na kiasi anataka uongee hiyo issue vizuri kwa sababu okay. kuna young people out there yes. they are watching maybe some of them wamekaa tu 2 years lakini saa hizi ndoa ni kama wanaachana leo hii maybe mwingine hata amechoka anasema ah mimi umenichosha Unadhani ni nini inafaifanyike mm. ndio ndoa ya leo ama ya sasa ama wale watu kama nyinyi kwa na watoto na najua yes. wanaenda kuwa very soon mm. na mungependa wakae kama nyinyi mm. si kweli mm. kama nyinyi mnaitana sweet heart na mekaa 21 years lakini watu wakikaa mwaka wanaanza kuitana we eh mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah namba 1 ningependa kuambia young people make sure it's love And I repeat, make sure it's love because love never fails. Love is patient. Love is patient. Why? Because when a conflict arises, because we are human beings, conflicts will arise. With that patience, you can tolerate each other. You can sit, talk, and agree. If politicians can talk and agree for their own interests, why not the mother of your children or the father of your children? Why can't you agree? Number two, I would say, let's learn to be transparent, especially in the issues of finances. Let's make sure that however little you are earning, let your wife know that you are earning this much and let your husband know that you are earning this much. So that even when you are broke at around 15th of the month, no one is just assuming in their minds that maybe this man is is having money now and we are hungry Mm -hmm. and we, we, we are sleeping without going without food now total will be school fees so let's make sure that transparency is there as far as finances are concerned because it's very dangerous when someone is thinking this man or this woman has money and here we are we are struggling we're not tunakunywa strong tea unaona na jamaa kwa hiyo mtu ila azira ambayo inapanda kwa moyo wake kujua tu mtu ako na pesa na kumbe haiko and this is because someone is pretending not to be transparent and I pretend everything is okay. Yeah. Number three, mm. let's make sure that we don't allow in-laws to come in between our marriages. Thank you. The Bible oh, says, oh, the Bible says, mm. woman shall leave her parents, mm. her father and mother, and be joined together to this man, and the two yes. shall become one flesh. Yeah. Not that together with your in-laws, now you become one flesh. Mm. So in-laws are wrecking so many marriages out there mm-hmm. because some men want to listen to their sisters or, or even parents mm-hmm. more than their wife. Brothers. And the women also want to listen to their sisters, brothers and their parents more than the Lord my father did not make a mistake to say the two shall become one flesh. Yeah. And when in-laws come in the chances are mm-hmm. one of you we attend at kwanza kai mali kwa sababu in laws wameleta incitement hapo katikati wataenda wakae maybe kwao mm-hmm. one flesh one flesh means what sahi nikikata huu mkono mm-hmm. niende niweke kule kariobangi na mimi niko huku zimaman mm-hmm. after one month niende nitafute huo mkono nitaupata ama nitaupata lakini utakuwa unanuka umeoza yeah. utakuwa umeoza si ndio yeah. that is the danger of now allowing in laws to come in and cause separation between a man um, and uh, and his wife yes. ameenda kwao mm-hmm. na wao wanasema atakucha after sometimes mm-hmm. wacha aende tu kwao kusalamiana lakini is because as a result of incitements yes. from in-laws wow. yes mm-hmm.
Maybe my wife can say something. Ada hata nimuulize swali. Yeah, kuna swali lake. Huwa tunasema pesa yake ni yetu. Sawa. Lakini yako ni yako. Je, kwa hiyo ndoa penye mmeishi hiyo miaka yote imekwaje mambo ya pesa kwa sababu kama eh, mnasema eti kila mtu akuwe transparent alete zake na alete zake. Je, wewe ulikuwa unaleta na ulikuwa unajua na an, uh, how much? Eh, transparency ni umuhimu kabisa. Okay. Yeye yeah, anajua how much I earn. Eh, mimi najua how much he earns. Analetanga hapa anaweka saa nyingine pale kwa meza. Si kila siku sasa hii tumeshazoea. Anajuanga ile amount anakuja ananipatia. Mm. Anajua hii ni ya matumi, matumizi. Sasa mimi yangu saa nyingine simpatii lakini anaona vitu nanunua kwa nyumba. Lakini anajua. Lakini anajua. Agio broke sana pia ataniomba nitampatia. Eh. Eh. Sure. Eh. Hapo hapo wacha tu nilizo ni moja. Hapo hapo kwa pesa ndio mimi napenda sana. Hebu imagine. Mm. Yeah, apart pesa. Okay. Okay, tuseme kwa anapata. Like anapata like 10k monthly, isn't it? Na unapata million. Je, utambeba utambeba kama man of the house ama utambeba sasa kama utajibeba wewe sasa ndio utaweka mabeka juu sema sasa mimi na provide bado nitambeba vizuri kwa vile mm. saa hizi kama kuna pesa amenibeba vizuri kwa nini nipate pesa nyingi nikose kukushana na yeye mm. eh. amekosa pesa kwa 5 years na ndio unapata atakosaje pesa for 5 years anapata tu it means hata eh, hiyo ni pesa Mm. Unajua kuna wanaume saa hizi mm. anataka tu ile kazi ya profession yake. Na amekaa kwa nyumba na ako na bibi. Hapo ndio ma, wanafanya mako, mm-hmm. makosa. Mm-hmm. Hata kama uko na profession yako na, na, na saa hiyo kazi haijapatikana, endo utafute kazi yoyote. Mm-hmm. Ukileta hata hiyo 200 nitaona at least una work lakini utakaa hapo ukiangalia TV the whole day. Eh, 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 alafu <laughs> mimi nikuje ni provide eh. that would not be fair. Hata mm-hmm. eh. utaanza tu kuchoka. Eh, eh. Uh, mm-hmm. kwa nini? Yeah. After a wedding, our wedding like I said two, two or two yeah. or two or one. Yeah. After six months I lost my job. Nakwambia Ongea rent kwa accumulate. Ongea kukula ni shida tumekopa vitu kwa duka mpaka duka na farms hizi ni nani eti ni farm hii ni eh mkipita unasema ndio hao na ikawa wakati wote tunaishi kwa nyumba watu wengi lakini nikaenda kazi hao mm. watu lazima nilikuwa ni, nawafurahisha kiwango fulani mm. na kopa vitu kwa duka wa, 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 wasaidike okay duka ilikuwa na deni nyingi rent maximum mpaka kuna watu walipelekea my father in law maneno my wife, I didn't tell you she's from Kilifi. Mm-hmm. Kilifi County. Uko Wakamba. Sio kwa Wakamba. Uko ni Michikenda. Kilifi ni upande wa Malindi kule. Mm. My father-in-law akasema she has a brother who is a policeman here in Nairobi. Okay. Akasema brother aka mpatie pesa. Mm. Aende nyumbani kwa sababu amesikia kwamba mm. anateseka kweli. Yeah. Wanaishi kwa madeni, kukula ni shida. Mm. Ilikuwa ni ukweli ule mtu alipeleka hiyo ripoti dho hangefaa kupeleka <laughs> lakini ilikuwa ni ukweli <laughs> ni ukweli I respect this beautiful woman because hey. alisema mimi nimeolewa na nimeolewa na nimeolewa full stop hey. kwa sababu leo leo mnaweza kuwa nayo mm-hmm. kesho mkose mm-hmm. kesho kesho uh, leo mnaweza kosa mm-hmm. kesho mpate mm-hmm. kwa hivyo wale watu ambao wanafikiria wa, 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 kwamba utakaa kwa ndoa kwa sababu kila kitu iko mm-hmm. change your attitude because unafaa kufahamu kwamba mm. tomorrow is waiting mm-hmm. and tomorrow is in the hands of the local might father yes so hakuna kusema atuache nitoroke leo mm. kuna rafiki yangu mmoja ambaye alisema uh, uh, mkawaka alimfukusa kwa sababu hakuwa na kasi mm-hmm. ikafika mahali huyu mume wake mm. si amefukuzwa yeah. yes akafika mahali akapata kasi kubwa huyu mm. mwanamke alianza kumtamani tu vile wanazarudiana lakini because of hiyo hiyo aibu mm. akashindwa mm. Let me hand over the mic to <laughs> Zedman. <laughs> Utaki kumaliza hiyo story. <laughs> Na vile nikuwa ni meigoja. Tumelewa <laughs> 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 yeah, So, mi tuseme pointe nye nimepata hapo hivo. 
na maybe pia msikilizaji pale anapata hiyo point eh? yeah. ni kwamba mwanamke akiwa na pesa mm. na akuwe na pesa mingi aji mm. na pia bwana yake akuwe ni pesa yake ni kidogo mm. usiwai mm. mdharau ama, mm. ama ama utengane na yeye sababu hana pesa yeah. So mambo ni kuvumiliana na kusaidiana juu mlishaamua. Yeah. Lakini wale watu wanaingia kwa ndoa kama hawaja hawajaamua ama hawajasikizana vizuri na hiyo ndoa yao hawajaiweka kwa mpango wa Mungu, hizo ndoa ndio zinaharibika. Yeah. So hiyo ndio point yenye nimeshika. Nime, so eh, mimi nitaendeleza debate kuhusu eh, fighting eh, zenye tu, tunaona on daily basis. Eh kitu kwanza pastor umesema umeongea mambo ya, ya pesa umeongea mambo ya watu kuingia kwa ndoa kama hawajajipanga last na um, e, saizi e, apart from e, watu wenye wako kwa ndoa mapata pia university e, students e, ama watu wenye hajawana pia unapata kuna cases nyingi kama hizo kuna case moja ilitokea e, jama moja alitoka dhika akaenda kuwa student na huku pande ya ni ama ilikuwa kisumu ama wapi eh ilikuwa na kuru so e, na hawa tu i think hawakuanga in marriage mm. sana sana ni nini inaangazia mambo kama hizo kufanyika kwa sababu eh, atujui kama ni ni social media ina, ina influence watu sana mm. ama ni mambo na drugs ama ni relationship kukosa kukosa ama ni nini ama stress ni gani Wow, asante. Sisi kama pastors tunangangana na hii mambo day in and day out. Because lengo letu kubwa ni kwamba to assist young people to come to Jesus Christ. To accept Jesus Christ to be their personal savior. What's driving all these young most of these young people? They are not focusing so much on what drives a man. They are focusing on what does a man drive? So you find that this young woman has so many boyfriends so this uh, this young man has so many girlfriends and because it's all about love for you to have several women or several men you cannot call that love that one is last last I to shekagi I last will never get satisfied yeah. whenever you do it the more you want whenever you do it with this man or this woman yes unaona huyo ndio anasa kuwa mtamu kuliko huyu mwingine mm. and things like that it goes round like that mm-hmm. lakini lengo letu kubwa vile nimesema tukisaidia young people yes. waweze kuingia kwa Yesu Kristo mm-hmm. watambue kwamba Yesu Kristo ni mwokozi wa maisha yao mm-hmm. they, they will not want to run after some men mm-hmm. or run after some women mm-hmm. they will want to wait for the rightful person to come in mm-hmm. akuwe mke wake ama akuwe mume wake mm-hmm and because they are being driven by lust yeah. unapata we akisikia kwanza at that age yeah. you know even brain ina kwanga na, 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 na maturity level mm. unapata kuna bongo fulani ichakoma vizuri mm. haiwezi ka handle some things haiwezi yeah. ka ikakuwa na ile self control mm. inakuwa carried away with some emotions and things like that yes. you unapata this young man has heard that this woman I meant another man. So they are, they, they are very active and they are very aggressive. Yes. And they are very smart with this era of digital era. Yes. Watatafuta huyu mtu ameenda wapi na akona nani? Na kimfuata injuring one another is very very easy. Mm-hmm. Because sasa hizo wanakuwa wana carried away by those emotions. Yes. 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 But my, it's my hope and prayer that uh, uh as we focus so much to bring them to Jesus Christ yes. some of these cases mm-hmm. will reduce mm-hmm. yes like your wife. Mm-hmm. maybe 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 kama unaweza ongezea kitu kwa hiyo point unaona amesema karibu yote amesema karibu yote ah sasa eh, tuseme tumeongea kitu cha kwanza ni eh, maybe multiple relationships eh unapata mwanaume amesikia msichana ako na mtu mwingine mm-hmm na na suspect ni kweli so ina end up to maybe even killing that person mm-hmm. uh, apart from kitu kayo maybe eh, unaweza ona maybe hizi mambo za kuana kama eh, mambo na drug addiction inaweza kuwa ina ina contribute ah uh, to which percentage yes asema hivyo because uh, drugs bias tafanya mtu thinking level yake iwe abnormal 
na uwe na ile courage ya kutaka kufanya kitu hata kama ni ya kishetani wewe kwako unaona tu uko comfortable and that's why we also pray that uh, those people who are running businesses of selling drugs and uh, alcohol including marijuana i hope and pray that the local almighty father will come in and destroy all those businesses and at least give them something else to do to to empower the community rather than uh, weakening the community by selling these things to our youths yeah now another question pia mimi niko nayo ladies are saying that nowadays uh, there is no men we don't have real men mm. Mm? Pasu umecheka hapo. <laughs> hapo umecheka. Na nimekuwa nikishindwa. Kwa nini wanasema hivyo? Sasa tukasema juu tumepata watu kaa nyinyi. Nyinyi wote nataka mjibu hii swali. Wanasema nowadays this generation hakuna real men. Tena hiyo ni swali lako. Na wewe utajibu hii. J, is it true that you nyinyi ladies mna work hard than men? Wenye wenye mnasema sasa hizi men wamekuwa lazy. Sasa wewe ndio ulikuwa ukianza sana. Mimi naanzia huko. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, that conversation nimeisikia hata mahali nafanya kazi kwa shule. Uh, most of the parents who bring their children wa wanateta sana kuhusu their marriages wanasema wanaume wamekataa kuchukua majukumu utapata yeye atakuja alipe school fees uh, ahakikishe amelipa rent so it's very tough for them lakini mimi nikifikiria sana naona ni kwa vile wengi wao labda waliingia ndoa like the way my husband was saying due to other motives not love because yeah. hiyo scripture ya first corinthians Yo, love never fails those are the characters we need to look for when you are, when you are getting into a marriage uh, is this person having that kind of love definitely it's a, it's a it's an almost perfect love but it's it's something that can be achievable looking ngana eh sasa alafu sijui wengi wao squeeze vijana wengi sasa hii wanatumia drugs hiyo estate yenye niko yenye nafanyia shule kuna a lot of eh wamelewa hawana shughuli na nini pesa ile kidogo hata watachapa bibi zao ndio wachukue hiyo pesa kidogo wako nayo waende watumie so unaona hiyo pombe inachangia eh pombe inachangia mm-hmm. drugs mm-hmm. marijuana the young people they are really taking it mwanzo hapo hata waogopi sijui kama estates zingine ziko hivyo wanavuta tu hadharani eh hao afichi unaona hiyo ina affect eh ina affect Ju sasa kijana mdogo ameoa na kazi yake ni kuvuta hizo. Mm. Unafikiria atajukumuika? <laughs> Nani? Kitu ya kwanza atafanya kupata pesa kidogo ataenda eh, huko eh. So kama ni shema ya kuona nini yeye atakuwa nayo. Atakuwa nayo. Hata kiongo tutakuwa na shema. Eh. Wow. Basi jibu sasa yako. Mm. And the question was uh, people say they are not true true men isn't it? Mm. I don't know true men on, on which aspect. Mm. For me I would say true men are there mm-hmm. but those who are born again mm-hmm. because if one is not born again mm-hmm. doing funny things or taking shortcuts in life mm-hmm. is very easy mm-hmm. but I would say true men are there mm-hmm. those who are born again Tukimalizia malizia maana tuko kwa dakika za mwisho mwisho Uh, kuna kitu sasa hii ni yako inakulenga we mchungaji mm-hmm. direct uh, kuna hiyo conversation inaendelea inasemekana pastors like nyinyi sasa mm-hmm. ndio mmekuwa wanyama wanafiki mm-hmm. mnageukia kondo yes. mnaacha wake zenu mnageukia kondo rapist nyinyi ndio mmekuwa nayo sana mm-hmm. sijasema umefanya <laughs> Sasa umefanya. Ni kitu unajua ume, umeisikia. Yes. Na hata kuna interview nilifanya pale kama mwanadada anasema after ma, um, bibi yake kuenda huyo m- uh, bishop alifanya hivi na hivi Sasa je yes. Unaonaje? Unaona nyinyi sasa bishop ndio mmaribika zaidi kuliko hata society na inafaa muonyeshe picha nzuri kwa society. Unaona venye kunaendelea in the next 5 years, 10 years, 20 years kutakuwaaje? Mm. It's true these cases are, are there in public domain. Number one, I would want to say 
some pastors are not wise enough, whether they are bishops or uh, evangelists or whatever it is. Wise, they are not wise in which sense? Because if I'm visiting a sister in her house, no one said that a pastor is an angel <laughs> and is a super human being. <laughs> Wisdom comes in there where I want to ask my wife, mm. we are visiting this sister, mm. accompany me. Mm. Why should I just courageously go into the house of her sister, mm. I alone? Even if I just went and made a prayer, mm. if I'm walking out of that house, what do you think the neighbors will say? So it's my hope and prayer that all of us, men serving the local Almighty Father, will have the wisdom to do these things. Number two, sometimes muta naenda to kanisani. Na wakamelisa wake wanajua hui mutu wanaenda kanisani. Wanaanza kumuita pasta. Huyu hata mungu wawezi mutangua kama ini pasta, lakini watu wameanza to kumuita pasta. Huyu mtu agenda mahali afanye hiyo cases kama amerepu mtoto wa mtu mm. ama amefanya usherati mahali yeah. akishikwa ujie hiyo chini ukianza kuitwa pastor wherever you at, at, at kwa estate yako yeah. it will take few months itakuwa watu wamezoea kwamba wewe ni pa yeah. but the truth is that mm. you are not a pastor yes. so kifanya vituko fulani mm. watu watasema pastor ameshikwa maha yeah, yeah. so hizo sasa hiyo hiyo accusation ina tarnish the name of all pastors in the world but huyu mtu kweli hata yeye mwenyewe ajui kama ni pastor mm. and number 3 me who encourage I encourage myself mm. and even others kwamba salvation is more important than just a, a title mm. at mini pastor mini bishop yes. are you born again kwa sababu kama hiyo title ulipata tu na ikazoelea na wewe huko umeokoka mm. chances are kufanya hizi vituko they are very high mm. yes na maybe kabla kabla tumalizie sababu sasa ume eh, KG amesema ni dakika za mwisho mwisho eh, eh wacha ni niulize swali lingine yes. eh hiyo swali ni kuhusu marriage mm. za watu wa gender same gender eh, kama we pastor naona sasa hizi kuna watu wana demand their rights kama we a pastor mm. unaweza ongelelea kuhusu hiyo kitu unaweza support ama unaweza condemn the act Uh, Mungu aliumba mwanamume na kutoa kwa mwanamume mwanamke vile vile akaweza kuumbwa na Mungu akasema it's not good for a woman or rather for a man to be alone but he made a suitable helper who is a woman that the woman shall leave her father and mother and be joined together to a man and the two shall become one flesh mm. there is no christianity without scriptures any other christianity outside scriptures is is false so if people want to marry men men marrying other men yes. and they are saying their rights right is a mungu na siko wapi right is a mungu ni kwamba woman yes <laughs> so tunaanza kwa abudu rights is a men at human rights yeah. But the creator of the universe also has his rights mm -hmm. and his rights are found in the bible mm -hmm. and in the bible the Almighty father recognizes a woman leaving her father mother and uh, uh, her parents and reaching together to a man mm -hmm. and the two shall become one flesh mm -hmm. not this man shall leave her parent uh, his parents mm -hmm. and be joined to another man mm -hmm. and let the two become one flesh there's nothing like that mm -hmm. so that is a satanic way of a uh, uh, misappropriating the rights of the local Almighty father yeah. yes so you man no we may condemned yes yes now to okay. kemal okay yeah i think yes and you appear about the men they are also women yeah when the same nimi zote hata hiyo ya mwanaume kwa mwanaume mwanamke kwa mwanamke sio sawa mbele za Mungu eh now nyinyi mko na watoto wakubwa nyinyi sasa mnakaanga na wao aje nataka tutaka moja moja cuz nataka tuko na dakika tano the, now the solution eh mm. kwa marriage of nowadays ndio killing is kuwe ndio 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 young people wajukumike mm. tukimalizia the solution ni nini wewe na wewe second second 
mimi naomba tu kwamba solution ya hizi shida ambayo simechukumba kama society watu kuona mume anaua mke mke anaua uh, mume uh, tuwe watu wa maombi tuwe watu wa maombi hata kama unaishi na mtu ambaye achaokoka kwa kitaja china lake kila wakati kwa maombi na Mwenyezi Mungu ataingilia kati na watu wataishi katika hali ya upendo na umoja na amani asanteni uh, amen kwa hizo shida zote ambazo zimekumba hizi ndoa zetu suluhisho ni Mungu watu warudi kwa Mungu na vile bwana wangu amesema maombi maombi ni kila kitu amen So kama ambavyo umesikia maombi ni kila kitu kwa kila jambo ambalo unafanya na kwa relationship make sure you pray each and every day pray for your relationship so that the devil doesn't come in and uh, from my side Zedman TV and my friend KG we sign out let's meet in, uh, in the next episode thank you amen thank you subscribe before you go we love you